Welcome to Fall 2022 Business 210, Microsoft 365 Excel Statistical Analysis. Now in this class, we are going to use two different websites. This site is the People website. This is the one I created with most of the content we're going to use for this class. We will use Canvas a little bit for things like uploading a completed test. But most of the time, we're going to be at this People website. Now we'll take a tour of the Canvas website and the People website. But first, we want to go and look at the syllabus. So I'm going to click this link. Page one in our syllabus is a hyperlink table of contents. That means you can come back anytime. And if you want to look up details about testing and grading, you just click and jump to that section. Look at the schedule, click, and you jump to that section. Now, Control Home to jump back to the top of this document. We'll be using that keyboard in Excel also. Now, your job on day one is to study the syllabus. I'm going to go through a couple of things in the syllabus. So let's scroll down. Here's my contact information, and my office hours are Tuesday, Thursday, 11 AM to 2 in either my office, 29307, or across the hall in the computer lab, 29308. If you can't meet during those times, all you got to do is send me an email. And usually I can meet sometime between Monday and Saturday. And I can meet by phone, email, or in person. I love for you guys to come in and see me live. It's much more fun that way. Now we have two sections of Business 210, one online and one hybrid. Now these two classes are the same because most of what you're going to be doing is watching YouTube videos and practicing your Excel and statistics at home. But the hybrid is going to meet on Tuesday and Thursday from 10 AM to 10.50. And that's in Building 29, Room 308. On Tuesdays, we will review a few of the examples for whatever chapter we're studying in class. And on Thursday, I'll have an open lab where you can come in and get help with your tests. And it doesn't matter if you're in the online or hybrid, you can come in on Tuesdays or Thursdays, and we'll have fun with Excel and statistics live in the classroom. Now let's scroll down and talk about the four computer requirements. Now, as was communicated in the schedule when you signed up for this class, you are required to use a Windows-based PC computer with Microsoft 365 Excel and a standard keyboard. Now, the standard keyboard looks like this. It has lots of advantages over a laptop keyboard, and it is what is used most often in the business world. Now, the main difference between standard and laptop, and this is a picture of my laptop, is the FN key. You got to use the FN key if you want to get to these F keys. On a standard keyboard, you just click the F key. Now, in video number one, I actually show you a cool trick so that on most laptops, we can avoid this key. The other advantage to a standard keyboard is we have navigation keys and a number pad. Now, Mac and Chromebook computers will not work for this class. The Highline Business Department is closely aligned with employers in the working world, and employers demand Windows-based PC computer skills, not Mac or Chromebook. And the big problem is Excel, which is the most important business program on the planet Earth, on a PC computer or a Mac, Excel is totally different. And employers want you to have Windows-based PC Excel skills. So that's what we're required to teach you. Now, if you have a Mac or you don't have a computer at all, Highline provides two ways to get computers. You can request a Windows-based PC computer at Highline using the student technology request form. There it is. That's the link from the Highline website. Now, I sent an email out about 10 days ago reminding you that this is the computer requirement. So you got to get your request in as soon as possible. The other thing is, if you have a PC computer, Microsoft and Highline College will give you a free copy of Office 365, which has Excel. Here's the link from the Highline website. Now, the other two requirements for your computer, well, of course, you have to have internet connection because we're going to be watching YouTube videos. And if you're checking out a computer or using someone else's computer, you got to get a jump drive or USB drive. Now, 
Whether you use a USB drive or your own computer, in video number one, I'll show you how to create the folder that's required for this class where you're going to save all your files. Now let's scroll down because the other requirement is a textbook. There's the name of the textbook, the authors, and the ISBN. Now we're going to scroll down. You get to read all of this about grading and tests and quizzes. But the most important part of the syllabus is the schedule. Now notice the schedule is not at Canvas. It's at our People website at the end of our syllabus. And since you're going to be consulting this every week to see what you're doing, remember, you're coming here, you're clicking on this. And then in the table of contents, you click Schedule. Now let's look at how the schedule works. Week one, well, guess what? I'm going to give you a break for week one. All you have to do is study the syllabus, study the introductory video, and obtain access to a PC computer with Microsoft 365 Excel. That means when you get to October 3rd, you already have your computer and you're ready to go. So for week one, which one of the two websites do you go to? Well, if we look over here, there's the link for the syllabus. There's the link for the introductory video. Now, if we're looking at week two, we're going to study chapter one in the textbook. It's called Intro to Statistics and Excel. But we're never going to start in the textbook. We're always going to start with this column. You watch videos one, two, three, and four. Now, these videos are at our People website. It's chapter one, so I click here. Yes, here's the videos, but notice this is step two. We always do step one first which is to download these files because we're going to use these files while we watch the video. You have this Excel file open while you follow along and practice the things I show you in the video. Now the good thing about video number one is I specifically show you how to create the folder we're going to use in this class and how to download these files. Now although I show you this Excel file for chapter one in video number one, I just wanted to open it and show you the conventions we're going to use for video Excel files. The yellow sheets we'll work with as we watch the video, but they're just information. The blue sheets are where you'll actually do something like create a formula. And guess what? I'll always give you the answer on the red sheet. This is exactly how I completed the example after I finished filming the video. So for all four of these videos, one, two, three, four, you're going to use those files. Then number three, when you're done studying all of that, you download the homework templates from Canvas. Now wait a second. I just said you're going to download these files, and later we're going to download the test file from our People website. Well, the problem with homework templates, I actually created these and gave you the answers for the homework problems, and I'm not allowed to post those in a public website like this. We'll go look at where they are in Canvas in just a second, but you download those files, then read the textbook, and complete the homework problems from the textbook. Now if we go over to Canvas, here's the home area of Canvas. And sure enough, in week two, there's Download Textbook Chapter 1 Homework Excel File Template. You click this, and then you have to click it again to download it. This is what Chapter 1 Excel Homework Template looks like. Notice the blue sheets, 2, 10, 25. Those are the assigned homework problems. So you go to the textbook, and on the blue sheets, Here's the data set that you'll see in the textbook, but you use the Excel spreadsheet to make your formulas and pivot tables. And guess what? I'll always give you the answer. So for number two, there's the completed homework problem. So you can check your work after you complete it here. Now, this isn't handed in, and none of the video work is handed in. That's all practice for the test. So now, when you're done with all that homework and textbook and video stuff, then you can come, number four, download the test, and in this case, a CSV file, because you have to import it into the Excel file. You complete the test, and the problems will be just like what you see in the homework and the videos. So if you do a little practice up front, you should be able to ace every test. Now, you can think of the top part here, one and two, those are like class lectures. This will be your homework, and here's the test. Now, when you're done with your test, then you go over to Canvas, and this is week two, and sure enough, there it is, test one upload link. So you click it and upload your file. Now, for week one, there's the videos. There's the pages in the textbook to read. 
There's the homework problems to do, 210 and 25. And notice it reminds you, download Excel test file from Chapter 1 People website. Complete test and upload to the home area of Canvas. And the due date times are listed here. Then you continue on, week three, week four, and so on. All right, one last thing we want to look at Canvas. Home area has almost everything you need for each week, the homework template file and the test upload link. I'll make announcements at least one every week. Discussions. Now this area is for posting questions about the videos or homework. You don't post questions about tests in the discussion area. You can email me directly about test questions. And in fact, you can email me about anything you want. Now, whether you use discussions or emails, if you have a question about Excel, always attach the Excel workbook file. It makes it much faster for me to figure out an answer. And then here's the grades. This will list the scores you get. And be careful, and this is written in the syllabus, for all of your Canvas classes. If you look at the overall percentage grade for a Canvas class, it's only for completed assignments. So if you haven't completed all the assignments, it is not correct. So my rule for Canvas is just look at the scores. All right, that's it. We have two websites, People website and Canvas. And this is going to be an awesome fall quarter for Business 210 class studying Excel and statistical analysis. All right, we'll see you next video number one.